everybody. Trisha Keel, Tomorrow's Key. Guess what? It's almost Halloween. I'm so excited. I hope you're coming to the party at uh, uh, El Pueblito on Richmond Avenue. If you don't know anything about that, check my website. If you're in Houston, be there. We're black. Bring friends. Have fun. Um, but anyway, back to what I'm talking about here. I have had people talking to me about how low their energy seems lately and the reason that the energy seems low lately is because we're getting less sunshine as we move down to the winter solstice the shortest day of the year and the longest night you get less and less and less sunlight so i've got six quick ways for you to bump up your energy as you start losing the natural energy that surrounds you number one you need to be outside 20 to 30 minutes a day preferably 30 preferably more but at least 20 minutes a day. No sunscreen, no big hat, no dark, no, you can wear dark glasses, but you want your body exposed because your skin brings in the light and processes um, the vitamin D in your body so that it can transform the calcium in and, and make it work with your bones and everything. You got, you got to have the vitamin D and the vitamin D comes from the sunshine. So get yourself outside. I don't care if it's pouring down rain, there's still light out there. 20 to 30 minutes a day, even in the snow, go outside and play. Um, also, on the inside, do not use those little flickering incandescent um, mercury vapor lights that they have, that are the little spiral things that they say are so cheap and the law says you have to have now. Do not use those. They're constantly turning off and on. The sunlight is a bright, shining, never off on off on always on so incandescent bulbs are steady light and um, LEDs are steady light seek to find yourself the full spectrum light bulb also if you have mini blinds or plantation blinds or any kind of blinds that slice all the light at your windows open them up if you cannot tolerate the heat or the light or whatever it is if, if they're tilted down then then the light comes in, it's sliced like lots of guillotine blades or lots of swords, and it gives the effect to your perception of a great big frown. And, and it encourages depression in your house. So look at every one of your blinds that you have down. Tilt them up. When they tilt it up, it gives the impression of smile, happy, joy, joy, um, no depression, undo depression. So check all your blinds. Turn on your lights. Make sure they're full spectrum and um, even grow lights are full spectrum. You want the whole rainbow. Yes, as a matter of fact, I will have it all, thank you. Um, and you want it all too. You can also get the full spectrum into your body by eating the full spectrum of food. Now, if you haven't read my book, Living Heartwise, um, here, here's a quick idea of what I'm talking about. You wanna eat food of every color of the rainbow every day. Um, for example, in the morning, for breakfast, I throw some strawberries and a banana in a blender with some um, milk and yogurt and some honey, and that gives me yellow and red. I have a bowl of blueberries. For lunch, I'll have um, raw spinach instead of lettuce on my salad, and tomatoes and carrots and um, purple onion if I can if I can get away with it. Um, depending, you know, you know how it is with onions. You have it depends on who you're going to see that afternoon. Um, so that would give me red, purple, green, orange, and yellow. That's five colors. I'm trying to remember what the other colors are. Um, there's red, orange, tangerines, carrots, cantaloupe, mango. Um, just, just think of whatever foods come in whatever color. Get yourself lots of green. Lots of green. Green is the most important because that's your heart chakra color. So that's where your light shines out. If the more green you eat, stronger your heart. Um, so after the consideration of consuming the full spectrum, then you want to um, look for beauty around you. Because the light in your eyes is, is brightened not only by the colors of the food that you eat and the freshness, the living food that you eat, but also by the beauty that they fall upon. If your eyes fall upon your child or your animal or your lover and and then they smile joyously and go oh it, it my eyes are so happy just to lay upon you 
You should also create beautiful spaces and have beautiful art and beautiful places for you to sit in your home or, or your snuggly bed all made up and fresh for you to climb into or a plated dinner. Um, uh, the, the sky as, as the sun rises or, or just the beautiful blue of the October sky. Find beauty. Look for it. Increase the quantity of beauty and it, you'll raise your energy levels again visually. Now let's talk about sound. 